So apparently the Northern Lights are supposed to happen tonight. Now, I've been duped before. We've had Northern Lights here allegedly, but it's been raining, it's been crappy, so I've never actually got to see them. And it is exceptionally rare for us to have them here in Southern Ontario because it just doesn't come down this far. The Northern Lights, you usually have to drive like eight hours up north to see them. And they are something I have always wanted to see. Yeah, fingers crossed. Hopefully we actually get some lights. My sister, who is further down south than I am, just sent me a picture of the Northern Lights. So it might actually be happening. We'll see if they're visible in my area or not, but God, I hope so. It never happens here, ever. I'm far enough south that we never get the Northern Lights. So this solar flare that's happening is just apparently lighting up all across Canada, all the way down into the States. So hopefully I could see it here. And if not, I'm gonna go for a drive to see if I can find it. off to this random beach, Port Sydney Beach. Uh, I can kind of see it in the sky, but I won't know for certain until I get out onto the beach. But I think if I do a long exposure, it's really gonna show itself. So I'm hoping that that's what's gonna happen because if I pull up the app right now, we're actually in the orange, we're close to the red. So it should be getting good soon downside is there's a lot of people on the beach so it, vlogging it is going to be a bit awkward but we'll see so i framed up this shot i have probably going to clone out these bushes to be honest with you but i love the reflections and the northern lights here coming in just looks beautiful i went for a vertical composition but now i think i'm going to go for a wide composition because you can actually see bands of uh, light in the sky neither one of my vlogging cameras will pick it up that's why i'm filming the screen it is so dark, but <laughs> I can only see my phone screen or my camera screen right now. So yeah, this is my composition. Just this big island in the middle and the lights above it. Truly incredible, absolutely beautiful. So it's a little bit annoying, but some people are sitting in their cars over here and they have all their lights on and everything. And it's kind of distracting. However, there's a car over here and he's sitting in his car and his headlights are actually illuminating this boat. I don't know if you can see that. My camera won't focus, but it's actually illuminating that boat and it looks really nice, especially with all the Northern lights in the background. I'm just hoping to God these are in focus because I really can't tell. We'll see. We'll see when I get home, I suppose. I've been messing around with my focus and zooming in and making sure I'm actually in focus. The boat's not because it's moving around on the water and I went for a 15 second exposure, F4. I'm still gonna play around with the settings a bit, but there's actually, you can't see it, but over there, there's actually visible lights now, which is beautiful. That was awesome. I swear that boat was a paid actor. So I took a bunch of shots at a bunch of different exposures, played around with my camera. I don't really shoot at night, so it's a bit difficult for me to find focus and what settings I'm supposed to use. I want to get better at that. That's something that I'm gonna put out there. I'm gonna get better at night photography. But yeah, these are some of my favorite shots from this location. Yeah, the light would come in. It's so faint, you can barely see it with your eye, but with the camera, it looks absolutely amazing. And I've never seen them here, and it's so rare for this to happen here in Southern Ontario. The fact that this, that we have clear skies and the Northern lights are showing is absurd. 
I am so happy with these photos. I'm just really hoping that I got some in focus. That's, that's the big thing. I tried so hard, but now I'm going to drive up the road. I'm going to see if I can find another location because I don't want to, you know, slip up on this opportunity and yeah, let's go. Yeah, sorry, this is different from my other videos because I can't really film because it's so dark. This camera doesn't pick me up, that camera doesn't pick me up, and I don't want to bring lights because I don't want to ruin everybody else's time here experiencing the Northern Lights. So I'm just vlogging the back of my camera and that's all I can really do. I'm trying to focus on the stars. Those red lights are the stars. And that's what I'm basing my focus off of right now. But I'm not exactly happy with these photos like I was earlier. This spot is not as good as I was hoping it would be, but I don't know. You be the judge. You guys let me know what you think. You can't see anything other than my flashlight. Crazy. Yeah, this, uh, this didn't work out for me. This, this one. I like the sky. Sky's beautiful, but the uh, composition sucks in my opinion. I'll throw the photo up. You guys let me know. So I thought that would be a good spot because I photographed that spot many times before, but the reeds are just too high. It's just not a good composition. If I could see what I was photographing, if I could see the landscape, I'm sure I could figure something out, but it's just so dark. I can't see anything. I freaking can't believe that I got to see the Northern Lights here. I'm truly amazed. I'm happy with the first photos and I love them, but yeah crazy times and if you guys enjoy this video subscribe give it a like i'd love to see you guys back here hanging out in another video thanks so much for watching peace